Commanders, welcome to the 10th part of our guide series. In today's video, we'd like to tell you more about the armor types that are available in the game. The vehicles in the game are protected by plates of steel or aluminum. In order to deal damage to your target, you have to penetrate these plates with your shells. However, more advanced vehicles have more than one ace up their sleeves. For starters, some vehicles feature an armor type called Space Armor. These are simple extra armor plates attached to the hull or turret with an air gap between them and the main body of the tank. Penetrating spaced armor does not reduce the vehicle's hit points. In order to do that, the shell has to penetrate the main body below it as well. However, spaced armor does reduce the effectiveness of various shell types, most notably the HE and HEAT shells. The front of most MBTs and some vehicles of other classes is protected by composite armor. Composite armor consists of layers of different materials, typically steel and some resin, which together reduce the effectiveness of HEAT shells. Typically, MBTs require you to fire at weak spots such as driver hatches or lower frontal plates. Upper frontal plates and turret fronts are usually impervious to most shells. You can learn whether a vehicle has composite armor or not in the armor inspector window. Some vehicles also feature explosive reactive armor or an ERA kit. This kit consists of explosive containers located around the vehicle. Whenever such a container is hit, it explodes significantly reducing the effectiveness of guided missiles and HEAT shells. Against kinetic shells, these containers offer limited to no protection. Regardless, when encountering a target equipped with an ERA kit, it's best to aim at the areas not covered by it. A variant of explosive reactive armor is called non-explosive reactive armor, or NERA. In Armored Warfare, it is a rare type of armor that provides the hull with extra protection until receiving fire progressively damages it reducing the protection levels in the process. And finally, there's the cage armor, also sometimes called slat. Cage armor is also intended against ATGMs and HEAT shells, but is nowhere near as effective as an ERA container. In real life, these cages are intended against handheld RPGs and work by literally crushing the warhead, preventing from detonating. In Armored Warfare, this type of armor detonates HEAT and HE warheads away from the main hull, somewhat reducing their effectiveness. Make sure you understand your vehicle's armor layout by using the Armor Inspector feature. In the next and final part of the series, we'll discuss various tactics. But until then, see you on the battlefield.